11.39 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, and I'm walking with my son, but I see what we talked about this morning, this little liquidity flush that was going to happen. I tried to warn everybody this morning that XRP's next move was about $0.75, cents, and Bitcoin's next move was around 39600 to the uptrend. We're now down better than 1.26% since that update. Bitcoin's hovering around 40000 XRP's down better than 2.5%, and it's not looking good right now told everybody I have a plan with Chiba and you, but I didn't feel like it was the right time to buy yet because it looked like we were going to have a liquidity flush, and that's exactly what's happening. We could have this big pull down to get us what oftentimes happens before a big pump is you could see a big liquidity flush here to clear off the stochastic and RSI, and that's something that we have to pay attention to, and that's why I haven't committed to a 10x levered position yet. We've got XRP. Talk about 75 and this could be a bump and run pattern here with uh, bitcoin we really could have a bump and run here this could be the bump and run pattern it would have to break outside of this trend line that i have and hold it but we're literally back and forth on it today in the daily candle so early that this could just be the liquidity flush hit that uptrend for a six day in a row and if you hit it again and don't break through it to go to 37,175, which to me would be the ideal liquidity flush for the market makers to get all the longs flushed out they've already um and everybody who bought the support level they could flush them out with a little drop 37,175 the bump and run pattern so for anybody who doesn't know it's the best way I can show you it so we had the lead in we had a breakdown now we have a breakdown of that downtrending resistance right now we're right at it we need to have a close like I keep saying over my line that I showed you just now, we'll go back to it. But if we can close over that, we can have a run now. Now the other on the bump and run, the bearish setup, is if we close under my line and then we end up fading down. And that's that importance of that 39,800 line. It's so incredibly important, or 38,000, or 39,600. It's so incredibly important because if this is a bump and run pattern and we fail this line, that means we would come all the way down to like 32,000. Assuming our extension at 37,000 didn't hold. So I'm hoping that this is a bump and run reversal pattern here that we're experiencing right before our very eyes. That daily close yesterday above my descending uh, line was a good sign, but now we're testing this uh, support once again, and this is what often happens in times like this. XLM, we came up to resistance in the daily time frame. Couldn't break past it. Now, if you look at it in the shorter time frame, we've been a little bearish, like I called out this morning for the market. But we had to have a flush here. 19.7 would not be off the table here. And then if it breaks down past that, no, 19.9 would be a good area if it could get down there. But you see we're dumping in the RSI, exactly what we need to do to clear out in 30 minutes, and we're going to end it with DGB. DGB broke outside of our uptrend. Which means, like we were saying, we're bearish in the immediate short term. We're trying to find a level of consistency here. And I would say we're going to look to see if we can pull up or DGB is going to have to come down to about 2-2 and restart again. And then XCC. XCC, I called this pump out before it even happened. 5-3-3 three, three area is where we got in. I, have a three, I had a 3x leverage position, which I sold out not too long ago. At 546, I sold it for anybody watching. And I ended up making, I don't know, it was about eight and a half, nine percent. But now I was waiting for the market to flush because I'm trying to figure out a good spot to buy in on Shiba. Because I feel like we're gonna have an incredibly big pump with Shiba. It's just they're gonna try to flush the market out first.